Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little video here over how you determine how much food you need to be planting for your uh, local deer herd. And I'm first going to start off when I plant my food plots there, and it's going to be the large majority, about 90% of my food plots will only be planted in the fall. Uh, that's when I'm able to harvest those deer successfully. And a lot of those food plots I plant in fall will actually progress all the way in uh, throughout the spring and then uh, almost into the summer. But by that time, you've got such a large vegetation out there with green uh, shrubs and tree branches and, you know, grass growing uh, that you've just got, you know, a tremendous amount of uh, green vegetation for your deer herd. But uh, some of the ratios there or percentages that you want to look at is and what I'll try to look at is if I've got 50 acres of deer habitat, such as uh, hardwoods, as well as bedding, that combination there or one or the other, then I'm going to try to plant uh, a two acre uh, food plot. And then if I'm jumping up to 100 acres of uh, deer habitat or uh, <coughs> bedding along with um you know, hardwoods, and I'm going to be looking at four to five acres of food plots. And once I get to that 100 acres, uh, you know, you can go, come at this and say, okay, well, I'm going to plant just one big, um, you know, four acre food plot. Uh, but what I like to do is I try to uh, look at it and go two acres here and then maybe, you know, three, 400 yards away, I'll do another two acres or even an acre, you know, in four different locations there. And that way you've kind of spread it out. You're able to jump around, uh, maybe hunt between, um, you know, two of those on some major trails. Um, you know, not to say you can't hunt over them. Uh, there's, I've got very few food plots that I'll actually hunt over. I like to hunt um, when those deer or where those deer are going to be transitioning to. So on the middle of the main uh, travel cor corridor, you know, it's just all about how you can get in there safely uh, without spooking a whole lot of deer. But uh, to kind of touch on um, our food plot seed that we do use, we use a lot of the Nixa Hardware and Seed Company. Uh, this is the deer plot uh, seed mix. Um, it's got a lot of uh, <coughs> turnips. We use a lot of the buck salad. Um, and that's a great, great one. The buck salad one's a really good one to uh, get going in the fall. And then it provides all the way into uh, your summer, or, your, or sorry, your spring months. And you can turn back around and plant a summer mixture there. Uh, later on or wait until the fall uh, you know august time period and plant another one but uh, we do use a lot of the uh, game pe gamekeeper bag seeders um you know i try to pick these things up on clearance and at walmart there wherever i can get them and those things really work good they're a good good quality uh feeder or a spreader for a for a a good price there um but you know, once you get into uh, your food pot, you know, the biggest reason why I like to continue to keep my food pots um, planted there in the fall is number one, because I'm a deer hunt, you know, during the fall months, but also <clears throat> it's really when the deer are going to need that nutrition and that green food source is into the fall, the winter, and on into the early spring there before everything greens up. Now, if you do find yourself in a situation where you're starting to plant a whole bunch of food plots there in the spring and the summer, and you want to continue down that path, you know, definitely be prepared to, you're probably going to have to start harvesting additional does um, just because you're probably going to be creating a lot more family groups that are going to bed on your piece of property uh, throughout the entire year. And, <coughs> and therefore you're going to get a heck of a lot more pressure on your food plots there. So hopefully this helps you guys out in regards to understanding, you know, a good idea of how to start uh, isolating, you know, how much food I'm going to need to provide for my deer, what food you can definitely use uh, with the Nixa Hardware and Seed Company, you know, how you're uh, planting those things. Uh, I will quickly touch on how we do plant. We run the uh, workhorse sprayer around, kill off all the grass, come back in there with the tough line disc, uh, get that thing going all behind the a UTV and then we'll use the spreader there right before rainfall and then we just watch it grow up and works out really well and then the uh, next the very last thing is just keep in mind you know if you do come down the avenue of planting those spring and uh, summer food plots you know 
chances are you're probably going to need to uh, start shooting a few more does. So always keep that in mind before you start planting that. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys out some. Like always, hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature. And best luck on your upcoming hunt.